vernal pools were once found across all of San Diego County. These are pools where fairy shrimp and spadefoot toads lie dormant until winter rains awaken them. But because of development, we've lost all but a few of those ponds. CBS 8's Sean Stiles takes us to one pool in this Earth A report. Here on the western edge of San Diego Miramar College is an open field, and just like other open fields in Kearney, Miramar, and Claremont Mesa, that's what they are nine months out of the year. But once the winter rains come, vernal pools like this are refilled, allowing Mother Nature to be reborn and come forth. On the west end of San Diego Miramar College is a small vernal pool preserve. Sheila Medrak is an associate professor of biology there. And then over here we have one of the vernal pools. It looks like there's kind of a funky little snail oh, that's cool. right there. That is really neat, and that's eating the algae and vegetation yeah. in there. Yep. Ferno pools occur after the winter rains on what is left of undeveloped mesas across San Diego County. Medrak says that's when the barren landscape turns into an oasis. All of it is here because of the rains that we had and it forms this own little temporal ecosystem. It's during this very short window that nature makes her move. Time for these fairy shrimp to potentially hatch out, come back up into an awake state, if you will, reproduce and make more fairy shrimp. And same thing with the spadefoot toads and then also utilize for all of the other local fauna that live in our area. The San Diego fairy shrimp, along with the spadefoot toad, are federally protected. Their life cycles are very short and the eggs they lay can survive in the mud when the pools dry up and then hatch when the rains return next year. So this is part of our vernal pool system that we have on our campus. Vernal pools are a very sensitive wetland type habitat that's protected here in San Diego County. These small creatures are indicators for the rest of the animals that utilize these seasonal wetlands. We have cottontail rabbits out here. We have a lot of small mammals, so rodent species, some of which are potentially protected species in San Diego County. And then upwards of coyotes, we've even had um, mule deer. The pools also help birds on the Pacific Flyway. San Diego has a ton of bird diversity, especially in the spring, and these kinds of pools become really important to birds that are flying through the area so that they have a source of water. With temperatures rising and the rain slowing down, the pools are starting to dry up. But the good news is anyone can view them. And so students, faculty, staff, or the general public can come and learn about the flora and fauna that live in this habitat. You're probably wondering why I bother telling you this story about vernal pools that are only here for a couple months out of the year. Well, if you know about something, then you care about something. And if you care about something, you'll want to preserve it for those that are going to come after us, which is very important. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.